perpetual motion. The action of a device that, once set in motion, would continue in motion forever with no additional energy required to maintain it. Such devices are impossible on ground stated by the first and second laws of thermodynamics. But that doesn't stop us from trying. When I saw this particular piece online, I instantly thought it was video editing. Much like a magic trick, when left with no explanation, I started to speculate that something more fishy might be at play. And to my amusement, it wasn't a camera trick at all, but more like an actual magical instrument. It's hard to tell what's real anymore. With advancements in technology, we're often left feeling underwhelmed when seeing something that is seemingly impossible. This due to the fact that we can chalk it up to foul play in post-production. The simple device that you see before you, however, not only simulates the destruction of our objective reality, but it also forces you to react to it. How does it make you feel? Unsettled? Anxious? But of course, every illusion isn't complete without a method this one being hidden in its base. There. Is that better? Are you satisfied now? No? Then let's just pretend you didn't see that last part. It'll be our little secret. The Five-Story Pagoda. This is by Shigeo Yamanaka, who is a fourth-generation Kumiki master. Kumiki is a Japanese word which means to join wood together. Along with this puzzle comes a little note about the history of its origins. I can't read Japanese, so a special thanks to my friend Joey the Anime Man for the translation. It reads as follows. Its purpose is to enshrine the holy remains of Buddha, with the five layers below the roof representing land, water, fire, wind, and sky. From the outside, you can view the pagoda's platform, tower body, and finial, which is the ornament on the roof, whose structures follow suit with a layering of woodwork techniques found within the rest of the structure. The puzzle whose design was originally created by our family's generation of Tsuntaro has now been passed down to myself, fourth generation, and is something I consider our family's masterwork. As such, I've decided to distribute this historical puzzle as a special limited piece for all to enjoy. In respect to this, we've utilized the finest materials to create this piece using Honduras mahogany, which we have directly taken from Honduras. This mahogany is some of the finest wood in the world, whose aging process can only be enjoyed in its purest artistic fashion. The first step was to disassemble the key piece. The key is important and present in all Kumiki puzzles. While taking it apart, it occurred to me that this puzzle was not meant to be rushed. Each piece is so precise that any force would hinder the process. Instead, a steady hand and relaxed mind would help the pieces fit in smoothly. It's as if the puzzle forces you to slow down and observe every detail of its simple, yet fairly intricate features. When taken apart, I found a small note written in kanji that said, textbook. Putting it back together proved slightly more difficult in that it would test my memory. After several minutes of trial and error, the solution became more and more clear. Proud of what I had done, I raced to the top only to realize that the key which I had started with 
cleverly had to be the first move in its assembly as well. Back to square one. From there, I would be able to reconstruct the pagoda. This small detail was once again a reminder to slow down, to treat this solve not as a challenge or a test, but as a means of relaxation, almost meditative. It's a nice change of pace from the regular puzzles I solve and forced me to appreciate it entirely from start to finish. This is Uplift, a mesmerizing piece of art by inventor Tom Lawton. It's essentially a never-ending spiral with a goal to inspire you to unwind as it gracefully turns the sun's power into a hypnotic flowing motion. Tom realized when inventing this that this isn't a necessity. And as such, the only way for this to make sense is to create it in a sustainable way using the things we don't need. The spiral is made from an industrially purified stream of waste fishing nets sourced from the Hake fisheries in Cornwall, England. Attached to the walnut base is a small solar engine, which, with the help of sunlight, propels the spiral using these rotating neodymium magnets. It comes with this magic wand to get it started and is encased in this beautiful glass tube. Watching this piece is truly hypnotizing. From the moment the sun rises to the minute it sets, this wonderful distraction takes on a life of its own. It makes me think of something Leonardo da Vinci might have on his windowsill. Many of you are probably thinking, well, this is a terrible waste of money and I can understand why you would say that. But for me and many others, watching the motion of the spirals evokes a temporary sense of peace, a little reset button to calm my mind in an otherwise frantic and busy day. Art like this isn't for everyone, but neither are these videos, and yet, here you are. Thanks for watching, and I hope you stick around, as I look forward to sharing more of these unusual items.